Right, it is time for your health check. You know, children 5 to 11 could get COVID vaccines starting tomorrow. Of course, as I mentioned before, we're going to know more about this by this afternoon once the CDC advisory panel votes whether or not to recommend. Meantime, a lot of you who got COVID vaccines early this year are now eligible for a booster. This has been a complex approval process, lots of moving parts. Here are five things you should know about boosters. First, not everyone is eligible yet. If you originally got Pfizer or Moderna's COVID vaccine and it's been more than six months from your second dose, you're now eligible for your third shot. If you originally got J&J &J and are two months out from your first dose, you're eligible for a second shot. According to the CDC, as long as you fall into one of three high risk groups, you qualify for a booster. That's people 65 and older, anyone who works or lives in a high risk setting like healthcare workers, teachers or people in long term care facilities and anyone 18 and up with an underlying health condition that would put you at severe risk for COVID like obesity, chronic kidney disease, diabetes, autoimmune conditions or pregnancy. Number two, it's OK to mix and match. The CDC recommends switching vaccines for the booster. Pfizer to Moderna, Moderna to Pfizer, and J&J &J to either of the mRNA vaccines. Why? Data shows that receiving a second or third dose from a different manufacturer offers a more robust protection. Number three, boosters are widely available. Pharmacies like CVS and Walgreens, doctor's offices, and mass vaccination sites are distributing boosters the same way they administered the first and second doses. Just like your original doses, boosters are free for everyone, regardless of immigration status. No ID or insurance is required. Number four, boosters maintain protection against COVID-19. The CDC says protection provided by COVID-19 vaccines appears to wane over time, especially for people 65 and older. There's also evidence of waning effectiveness against the Delta variant. Data suggests that boosters bring your antibody levels back to the optimal level of protection. And number five, boosters are safe. Side effects of booster vaccines are similar to the first two doses that could include injection site soreness, fatigue, headache, and fever. The main side effect that appears to be increased in some booster shot recipients is lymph node swelling. And a final note here, if you are 18 to 49 and at lower risk for severe illness from COVID, so that would be someone like me, we got to just hold tight for now. Wait your turn for a booster. All right, that's your health check. We're going to send things over to meteorologists.